my first impression of AJ Fernandez was first of all gratuity he picked us up from the airport I mean as soon as we landed in Managua he was right there which I, I really honestly didn't expect um, being that he is one of the most busiest guys on the planet and look who we just ran into AJ Fernandez came to the airport um, personally to uh, meet up with us AJ hold up there everyone hold on <laughs> That, that that's that's pretty cool that's one um two speaking with him as we're riding from the airport because when you land into managua and you're going into esteli it's a two-hour drive so we had a lot of time to get to know each other um on our way to esteli and instantaneously i mean his smile his energy is all infectious you feel like a brother when you're around this guy he is non-stop energy and but most importantly what impressed me the most about Mr. Eric Fernandez was that his passionate level for the world of tobacco is off the charts and it's something I've never ever seen before this man is by far the most passionate individual I've seen in the world of tobacco you can see it in his eyes you can hear it in his voice. He is tobacco. All right, AJ is going to be our DJ um, for us. We're taking us right into um, Esteli. Ask AJ what's his favorite music, his uh, type of music. Rap, country. I acquired a name um, that AJ gave me called Mi Negro. And at first, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait a minute. What, what does that mean? And then I just put two and two together, Mi Negro. And come to find out that in the Latin culture that Mi Negro is a term of endearment. And instantaneously, I was already sold on his affectionate um, side of him. I was already sold on his authentic side of him. And I am all for having more people like that in the cigar world. And it wouldn't hurt to have more people like that in the real world. Okay, so one of the first places that AJ takes us to is his nursery where the seedlings are plant are literally planted there. That's their the first part of their their growth process. And it's a it's a nursery. When I seen AJ approach this nursery, he did, he just didn't walk in. He looks at it up and down and it's almost like he had this own tobacco ritual about him. So when we entered the nursery, he looked at it and kind of panned across back and forth to make sure that all of his children were behaving. That, that's how um, I, I seen it, and which I thought was pretty cool. And he would walk up and down to make sure every single seedling in that nursery received every single nutrient. 
it was so detailed that he would even take a seedling outside of its of its section of growth which is like a I don't want to call it like a pottery section but consider it as such and he would inspect the veins he would inspect the soils to make sure that it was getting enough oxygen it was getting enough nutrients it was getting enough of anything that is required for that tobacco plant to grow into this beautiful beautiful situation and he was there from the beginning and I seen that personally and that's something that truly indicates a man of tobacco passion every single seedling in that nursery if you ask me those are his children and that's exactly how he treated them okay we're about to enter the seedlings area uh, where tobacco plants are uh, first uh, getting their foundation their roots um, their nutrition um, but this area is extremely extremely um, sensitive to bacteria in fact um, you're not allowed to smoke in there and apart before we can walk in we have to each we have to literally wet the bottom of our feet vamos a medir los nitratos mira deja la semillita mira professional my friend Take that, take that bad boy. Out. Right? Mira, y aquí tenemos el científico que este le mide todo el nitrato y todas las cosas a la planta, ¿me entiendes? He's, he's like the tobacco doctor. Ever seen that hey. before, Kennedy? Número. So this is going to tell him what? ¿Qué le dice eso, doctor? Eso es para determinar nitrato, concentración de nitrato que tiene fertilizante, lo que tiene de, de, de nitrógeno a la planta disponible para metabolizar todo lo que ella va para favorecer el crecimiento. The next place that AJ takes us to is where the seedlings are now transported into the tobacco fields. And it's it's amazing to see how these tobacco fields are just lined up like military soldiers ready for inspection. And what AJ does is he'll go through each and every flank and inspect every single soldier as as if he's their general he'll go through hey listen fix your collar hey make sure your your brass is polished he is just that detailed and we're talking about a tobacco field that extends I mean acres will this man take time to go through each and every flank yes he will I seen it. Eddie, Eddie, tírate una foto aquí para que me se las mandas a Ricky para él. Ok. Eh, hey, solo de 7. I'll call you back. Alright, ok, ok, bye. No, Jorge, aquí ni yo puedo entrar. Sí, esto está, imagínese que una moto de ahí, ¿no? Por eso estamos en la decisión, es mejor hablarle a usted. A este pop lo va a largar. Sí. 
No, no crees que lo largue. Sí, lo, lo lava, ¿no? no ¿Qué pasó? Wow. Esto es guau. Wow. Wow. Aquí sí puedes mandarme para acá bien. Esta es la semilla, la rojita. Para que le expliques a él ahí. Para que... Este es el cruce de los dos habanos con el conérico. This is the, uh, a mix of the habano with the Connecticut. La rojita. La rojita. Yes. Hybrid. Wow. Hybrid. Es increíble esto, ¿verdad? Sí. O sea, aquí se agarran 500 quintales. Sí, en la parte menos. ¿no? De este lote nada más. De este lote, sí. Este con el otro, ¿no? Sí. Aquí. Let's go. So make sure each plant gets all the nutrients needed on a daily basis to maintain this perfection of tobacco plants i mean when I, and i and i use the term strongly perfection that's exactly what this is this is pure perfection i've never seen anything like this oh man oh it's a little bumpy right here in estali you know, we're still dealing with um with rugged roads here <laughs> But anything for you guys, if this is what it takes to bring you guys the best video, the best information of tobacco, I'll take a rough ride any day. That's the irrigation system to make sure that each plant gets the proper amount of water and nutrients needed to grow healthy and strong. And as you can see, this whole entire lot, acreages, have just been showing off beautiful amounts of new tobacco plants. They look healthy and they're going to grow into beautiful products, gone through the process for you and I to enjoy and lovers of cigars around the world. <laughs> Hold on. Dale. Dale. Child locks, no matter what country you're in. <laughs> okay, now here is where we have after the plants have been Selected according to quality. They're hung on these branches in a curing room. Look at this. Got to be extremely careful on this beam here. And I think that's going to be. <laughs> I'm walking in. <laughs>
amante de la libertad Hoy que mi pueblo vive ilusionado Yo me siento inspirado Y un son le estoy cantando Anunciándole a todos mis hermanos Que nuestro día ya viene llegando uh -oh, uh -oh. Ya viene llegando, oh, oh, oh. ya viene llegando, ya todo el mundo lo está esperando, ya viene llegando. Savages. This is some serious driving. Wow. Here we go. Oh. Eddie, yo creo que se ponchó la caminar. Oh, wow. <laughs> Flat tire. There's no triple A. Epe, ¿qué pasó? No hicimos mierda. <laughs> you would think that someone who just caught a flat tire would be focused on that flat tire. Not AJ. Ya viene llegando. As a matter of fact, right behind us was this large tobacco field. Come to find out, it was his. So we take this walk and he inspects his tobacco field. When I tell you that he is non-stop in his process, he's non-stop. Jacinto, lo que te dije que te parece. Tú no tienes problema con eso, ¿verdad? No, el problema que iba a tener, pero yo no lo puedo cortar a mi tío. No le puedo cortar el futuro, ¿me entiendes? Yo solo dije, le dije de bro, yo hablo con Jacinto y eso no. Ya lo dije, pero yo hablo con Jacinto y eso no. <laughs> bueno, le echó un asado, asado y se te cita por ahí. Ah, me hace ahí un lechoncito asado, pero que le pico. Este tiene, este tiene 600. No, todavía. Se está marcando ya 670. 7000, 6000, 6800 por lo menos. Está igual, igual que fue cuando estaba aquí. ¿Ya fue buen nivel? Demasiado. Mucho. Ya aquí debemos estar ahí en 800, mil partes por millón, según lo que te falta por, para el tiempo de llegar a recolectarla, para, para que se quede por debajo de 500. Entre 500 y 200, 4 millones es lo último para recolectar. Lo que quiere decir que aquí se está echando fertilizante. Y es generalizado, el sol, el sol, el tema del sol. Se está echando una semilla bien necesaria. Eso 
sé cuál es la... Sí, de tú estás profesional con su brother, ¿no? Sí. Tú dijiste eso. Ah, pero bueno. Conocimiento Mal científico. Con... Sí. Ya. Claro. De vez. De quién. De vez no, de bat. How did Ty come out? Hopefully it doesn't fall off. I'm kidding. Let's go to the other form. Let's do it. Eric is our triple A out here. <laughs> they want to be on Stokey TV, so let's get them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this is my dude, man. This is my dude. There he is. Well, it's smooth, don't it? Not the rasa. Orale. They love Stogie TV, right? And we have the family over here. They want to say hello. Buenas. Hola, hola. I love being with the people, man. I just love being in the farm. Oh, man, this is amazing. This is, this is humbling. This is a humbling process right here. Wow. This is humbling, I tell you. Wow. Brings you to tears, man. Really does, man. Makes you put things in a whole new perspective.